today, in uh, the episode that we have today of the legends, we have a different kind of an episode. We are dealing with a retired minister who, out of um, a book that he wrote, was later deposed by the church. And we are at his place in Dogoto, um, trying to understand the story and his experience in ministry. In his story, you hear about a minister who has gone through a lot in life, both in terms of his uh, marital life, losing two wives, and also in terms of the tribal crashes in the Lift Valley, having lost his wife, to the first wave to the tribal crashes. And so today, as we venture into the story and then get to understand the book and the effects that it, uh, that it caused after that, listen to the story and get to understand the story of one that I will still refer to out of respect as Reverend Solomon Kamau Wamasharia. Welcome. <music> Take a moment and introduce yourself to the viewers. I am Reverend Solomon Kamau wa Masharia, and I happen to be in my home right now in Izogoto of Kiambu Sabu County in Kiambu County. I came here some few years ago after the crisis that took place in 2007 stroke 2008 from the Rift Valley where I lived with the rest of my family until then that my home was destroyed together with my wife who was tossed to death and reduced to ashes. And that is how we migrated from Rift Valley to Logoto. Here in Logoto I had bought a piece of a plot of either one acre, and that's where we moved to with the rest of the family members. I am a husband <coughs> of three wives, two dead and one living, and I am a father to children and grandchildren. I became a minister of the Presbyterian Church of East Africa. Late in 1984, when I was ordained, and I'm full to, I'm full moved to various parishes and presbyteries, serving the church of PCEA, until the year 2014, when I was given an official retirement, and I came to live with my family here in Nogoto since then. <laughs> I, I wanted to, to hear your story. Where were you born and raised? I was born in Muranga County. Mm. Then it was called Muranga District. Late in 1949, <clears throat> in the month of September, September 9, uh, in a place called Kalioa in Kandara. And I went to school in Kalioa primary. And in another one, Gatitoini, which was shortly, some few miles away. Then I moved from primary to Gaishajiro High School, mm -hmm. where I studied until 1970. After the exam, <laughs> the from four exams, I came to dwell, to look for employment in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So when I got to Nairobi and tried to tarmac, Finally, I was employed by Kenyan government and I was taken to the prison's staff training college, mm. which was situated next to Wilson Airport, mm -hmm. right opposite Wilson Airport. That's where prison officers were trained before it moved to Loiro. Mm. So I studied there and after the, the studies, I was taken or transferred to Kisumu, where I worked for some months. Then I was transferred to Kiabu, where I worked for three years. Then he posted to Nairobi to work with the, with the, with the, in the college, where I was in charge of uh, business, government business, where I used to sell 
the items that are made by prisoners mm. in one of the shops in the in the in the city center. It was from there. Then I was taken to Mombasa, Shimuratewa prison, where I worked for some months. Mm. Then I was transferred to Marid, wow. and it changed now the the work of being a prison officer to being a prison evangelist. Mm -hmm. And I was in charge of two prisons. It was from there that I was posted back to Nairobi mm -hmm. to work in the Nairobi West Prison in the same work of the prison evangelist. And after that, after a year or so, is when I did the interviews with the church mm. and I was after passing the interviews, I was requested to resign from the government and I joined St. Paul's mm -hmm. United Theological College then, which is now St. Paul's University, where I studied for three years. Before we come to your time at, uh, <coughs> uh, you're going to St. Paul's. Yes. So are you in essence telling us like, uh, but your call was kind of progressive. You have transitioned from a prison officer <laughs> to a prison evangelist mm -hmm. and not good for theological training. Mm -hmm. At what point <laughs> in, your, in the course of your ministry as a prison officer and as a prison, prison evangelist did you hear the call to, again, to, to join the ordained ministry? Oh, <laughs> the call to join the ministry of the church came very, very many years before. Mm, okay. When I was in high school, mm. I used to listen to different preachers, mm -hmm. some local, mm -hmm. others were from abroad. Mm -hmm. And they used to teach us, used to address us mm -hmm. as to how mm -hmm. we should engage ourselves in different ministries mm -hmm. after leaving school. It is then that I started feeling that call. After finishing school, I would join this ministry of mm. the church. Mm. I was still in the church because I became a Christian when I was in Saturday 7. Mm. After leaving school, mm. <coughs> this call continued to pursue me. Mm. But I used to put it down mm. because of the economic situations in my family. Mm. My father died when I was in Form 2 mm. and then became a, a student in and out, mm. sent home mm. due to fees, mm. come back mm. and the rest of the family stopped going to school. Mm. So I started thinking about two things, mm. going to serve the public mm and in going to serve my family. Mm. So mm. I thought I should put it do down mm. so that I help my siblings mm. to go back to school. Mm. With a little I earned in the prison service, mm. I engaged my, mm. my, my, my income mm. to helping my brothers and sisters go back to school. Mm. And they went. Mm. <coughs> so it was at this juncture when I saw no one is now depending on me. Mm. I even had told them I will not marry soon because mm. I, I want them to go back to school and study. Yes. It is now that because of the pursuing of the, of the call mm. and the fact that I have helped the family, mm. I said now I can decide uh -huh. to pursue this. And that's how I, I applied. Mm still in prison mm. and unfortunately mm. the church accepted my call. Okay. It is, uh, I say the church mm. and then I add in God mm. because I remember we were interviewed in 1979 mm. that three of us mm. and only the nine wow. first me included. Wow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I went to study. Okay. <laughs> So, 
after going through your study at small, by then were you, was it a, a diploma program or a, or a degree program, Bachelor of Divinity program at St. Paul's? Those days there were no, uh, there, were, there were both three courses, mm. certificate mm -hmm. in theology, mm. diploma from Makerere, mm -hmm. certificate was coming from the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. No, 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 because the Nairobi, the Nairobi University then, mm -hmm. and I think even today, mm -hmm. had no faculty of theology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had the faculty of religion and philosophy. Mm -hmm. And there was also another course of diploma, mm -hmm. diploma of the, in theology mm -hmm. from Makerere in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And there was the first degree, mm -hmm which is, was offered by the institutions of Eastern Africa. Oh, okay. And mm. they were studying there, but the, mm. the exam was marked by the institution of mm. East African Protestant churches. Okay. So there was, in, it was not a university, then. it was a theological, mm. uh, United Theological College, because it was owned by the Presbyterians, Anglicans, Methodists, and the Reformed Church. Yes. Other smaller churches were coming under the umbrella of Francis. the main ones. Okay. So now let's, <coughs> let's come into your journey now into ministry after your studies and you were posted to the parish mm -hmm. and, the, and, and the experiences that you went through, both good and <laughs> challenging in Challenge. the parishes, yeah? Because <laughs> I know you have a story <laughs> in the ministry. I, was, I have a long story. <laughs> yeah. And to cut it short, yes. The first thing in the ministry mm. I found mm. is that after leaving school, mm. when you get to the parish, mm. you are given a name mm. that you are a theological student, mm. meaning you are, uh, you, are, you are there under an experienced minister mm. so that he observes you. Mm and he recommends you to the presbytery mm. uh, through the taxation mm. that you are ripe mm -hmm. for the <coughs> licensing. I hope you know there are two, two ceremonies for the minister. First, you are licensed mm -hmm. to become a minister of the church. And he then, after some observation, then he the presbytery recommends you for ordination. Mm. And through those two, you are examined. Mm. So you are tried by, the, by different committees of the church. Yes. So <coughs> I went through them mm. uh, and I passed. Mm. And uh, it was declared that I should be licensed and I was licensed. Mm. In January 1984, mm. then, then I I was observed for the for ordination, mm. and I was ordained mm. in the month of August 19, 1984. Oh, the same year. Same year. Okay. But I was under the minister for the whole of 1983. Mm. One problem I have, or one challenge that was very serious, mm. that could almost declare that I should not be licensed, mm. is when some people who did not like me, mm. and they did not like, want me to be licensed, mm. they conspired with a woman to come and seduce me, <laughs> so that if I follow in, uh, then uh, I will not be a licensed. <laughs> and it was only two weeks <laughs> yeah. before the licensing. Yeah. Mm. But afterwards, mm. I did my own personal investigation mm. and discovered some people in the church who did not want me to be licensed mm. were involved. And that they had sent her, bribed her, and he sent some young people mm. from the church and from without mm. to line up on the other side of the church fence mm. 
So that when I'm escorting her, mm -hmm. I'm caught red headed and the woman says she was doing it in the other corner. And then no licensing. <laughs> so I went through. That was a great challenge. I know. It was the basis uh, of my, the other challenges. Uh, and in fact, it gave me, me, gave me spiritual mm, power mm, to know now mm, I'm entering into a ministry mm, <laughs> where good. anything can be done or said about me. So yeah. I'll be on the lookout. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> because I jumped to that. Uh, yes. So I was licensed. Yeah. Then, uh, then in fact, you can... You, you can even confirm it because I was transferred mm. before the ordination. Mm. So you were not ordained by the same presbytery? I was ordained by the transfer, took place uh -huh. in June, mm. it took place in August, mm. and I was transferred in June. Okay. Just that, mm -hmm. immediately uh, after ordained, ordained uh, I move out. So where were you transferred to after that? From, uh, that was from Kaboy, mm. after ordination. Mm. Licensing was done in Kaboy. Mm. Ordination was done in Komodai. Mm. After the ordination, mm. I had already the letter before mm. ordination. Mm. That as soon as I'm ordained, mm. I should move mm. to Nyeri. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kigajo. Oh, okay. Oh, police college. <laughs> Not the college, yeah. Kegajo Paris, Paris. PCA. Yeah. I was, of course, ob obviously I was going there to, to do two things. Mm. I was the parish minister mm -hmm. as well as the police chaplain. Yes. I, and, I, and I want us to go to your ministry, especially in the Rift Valley. At what point were you, because that is where you spent most of your time before coming to the school. Oh, yes. Uh, at what point did you go to Rift Valley? Before I went to the Rift Valley, because this is a, mm. there is a connection. Yes, okay. I stayed for almost five years in Kiganjo, mm. Nyeri. Mm. I was taken to Meru. Mm. We met mm. in a palace called Kanyakine, mm -hmm. where I served for almost three years. Mm. It was from there mm. That I, I won a scholarship to go to the U.S. Okay. to study. Mm. And uh, I left and went in 1991. Mm. Between 1991 and 1992, I was in Louisville, mm. Presbyterian Theological College mm. in Kentucky. Okay. <coughs> it was after the, the studies, mm. and I came back, that I was posted to Rimuru, mm. Kamandora. Mm. That was the time the crisis was heightened. Mm -hmm. So I requested the church to allow me to work in the Rift Valley, although there is fighting, because my family is there. Because and I am. the one who requested to be posted to Rift Valley. Exactly. At the height of the crisis? Yes. I said I don't want to enjoy life here when my family are going through mm -hmm. serious mm -hmm. problems mm -hmm. with, the, with, the, with, with the crisis. Mm. I was posted to. Lodian. Mm. It is there now. Mm. I was working and my family was only 27 kilometers away from the, mm. My, mm. my place of work. Mm. So I used to go every weekend to see my family. Mm. And we, uh, we went through all those problems. Mm. Because I remember in 1992 mm. when I left, even before I left the, 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 my work in, in Remuru, mm my cows were taken mm. and in fact that's why i was saying that i better, I better be near home mm. so that i experienced the problems that mm. my family is going through mm. it was then in 1993 when i was posted there mm. that even they come they came mm. to the church compound mm. burned my church house mm -hmm. with everything that i had mm. even books certificates mm. And they also burned the office, mm. the parish minister's office, mm. but they were stopped from burning the church building mm. by our watchman, mm. who was a Maasai. Mm. And I remember him telling me, they told him, mm. were well, it not that the fact that you are not a Kikuyu, we would have killed you before touching the church. Mm. But you are fortunate because you are a watchman who is not a Kikuyu, you are a Maasai. Mm. So they did not burn the church. Mm. 
So when that you, was 1993. Months at that time, I had gone home. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was on a t on a on a Monday, mm. and you know ministers are off on Monday. Mm -hmm. So I left for on a Sunday evening. Mm. Uh, so the house was being burned when I was already. Okay. So when I came on the on the morning of Tuesday, mm. I found no house, no office. It was totally burnt. In 1996, mm. they came to my home when I was already home during my vacation, mm. and they took away. My 21 sheep, mm. when I followed them, mm. asked them, why have you taken all of them? Mm. They shot me with an arrow mm -hmm. at the chest, mm -hmm. the right chest. Mm -hmm. So I bled so much. Mm. I was taken to the hospital. Mm. There were no cars in the village. Mm. So my helpers used a trunk. Mm. You can imagine, I'm bleeding and the tractor is jumping, mm. jumping. Mm. But fortunately, I, the doctor treated me mm, and I was taken back home. Mm -hmm. But I lost all those sheep. Mm. It was now 2007 that his life became too much. Mm -hmm. But in, 19, in the 2007, mm. uh, there is a break there that I would like to avoid. Mm -hmm. not to avoid to state, mm -hmm. is that when I was there with all these problems, mm -hmm. I stayed in Rodiani for seven years. Mm -hmm. Why? Because after some time, following the, 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 the practice and procedure of the PC that you should not go beyond five years, mm -hmm. some ministers were transferred mm -hmm. to Rodiani. Mm -hmm. And they... Nobody wanted. Nobody wanted to come there. Mm -hmm. So, I, I got two transfers mm. and no one was accepting. Mm. That's how I stayed in mm. Rudiani for seven years. Yes. Finally, mm. the church decided that I should leave now of the parish mm. work mm. and come and teach mm. theology in our Presbyterian college. Mm. And I remember there was a tug of war mm. in that appointment committee. Mm. One, I was there. Mm. I was the member to the committee, committee. appointed by the Presbytery of Ibagwan. Mm. Mm. And being there, transfers were made, mm. and then Kamau is to be transferred mm. to come and teach. Mm. Some members said no. Mm. Kamau is the only minister who can survive there. Yeah. We take another minister, he might be killed. Kamau <laughs> has known the way mm. how he maneuvers to in the Rift Valley. Yeah. So let him remain. Yeah. Others would say, we want Kamau to teach. Mm. So they argued and argued. Mm. And at the chairmanship of the, the moderator, then he just see mm. Masharia Kamau. Mm. Finally, the moderator, Jesse, said, we cannot continue arguing. Mm. Kamau is here mm. with us. Mm. Let him decide what he wants mm. to do. Mm. So I was told to start mm. and say, clear my opinion. Mm. Then I told them, I love the work, mm. but I note that I've been in Odiani for seven years mm. Mm. because ministers, two ministers have declined mm to come to Rodian because mm. they fear Rodian. Mm. And because I've overstayed mm. with the two years, mm. let me change. Mm. I would like to come and teach. Mm. So What's everything right? was settled there. Mm. But the problem was who would replace me? Mm -hmm. Whoever was touched, mm. no. Mm. Where was that? No. Mm. Finally, they mm. took somebody from Songoto. Mm. So, so that's how I came. That was the year 2000. Mm. That's when I came to, mm. to mm. the PCA Presbyterian College in Songoto. Mm. It was after that mm. that as we engaged mm. in teaching, teaching with others, mm. then there came the government of the then moderator, Dr. Gedi. Mm -hmm with all the symbols mm. and the controversy <laughs> surrounding the symbols, mm. 
I requested some teachers to, 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 to face the moderator and argue from a theological point of view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we went to, to visit him, mm -hmm. five of us. Mm -hmm. Then I was the deputy principal. Mm -hmm. But we requested the principal not to get into the argument because mm -hmm. the, the, the moderator will think that an institution is fighting him. Mm -hmm. Let's go to him individually as mm -hmm. individuals. Mm -hmm and they're not representing the, the institution. The, the ex, the institution. Mm. So we went and argued with him. It was during the night to his home mm. next to the mm. training. We argued, we argued until almost midnight mm. with him. Mm. Then he came to tell us that he has seen that we are right, he is wrong. Mm. And if you go and request that the committee of the business mm appoint a special committee of theological theological theological, theological panel, mm. panel mm. which you you talk mm. and think about the mm. legality of these uh, symbols mm. and then report it back to mm. the business and he said we will be among the members of the committee that will be appointed uh -huh. And we went very happy. joyously, uh, happy, uh -huh. because finally mm -hmm. we, we were to be in the, in the, committee. the committee of the theologians uh, in Apano <laughs> to help. <laughs> <laughs> Little did we discover that <laughs> the story ended there. Uh, okay. There was no committee even today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the moderator now started teaching, preaching against us. Uh, Wherever he went, uh, he said the people should pray for him because teachers, the lecturers are against him. <laughs> so he would go to Mombasa, give that sermon, go to Mero. Until people started to ask us, what is wrong with you? Why are you against our moderator? Anything can happen to you. So as if that was not enough, he talked about it in the GAC that was in Nakuru, where this is uh, the place of the Askari, Ranet, Ranet. Ranet, okay. When we went, he went there mm. and we started giving reports, mm. a report of the training and personal college. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the training, what do you call it? Uh, training and personal training and development. Personal development. Yes. All institutions gave their reports. Mm. Fortunately, or unfortunately, our moderate, our, our principal was sick in the hospital. Mm. So I was sent by the college to represent the principal in reporting about our institution, Presbyterian College. So I gave a report, mm. a written report, mm. about how we receive mm. students, mm. how we teach them, how they go, mm. how some our ministers already. Mm. And after giving the report, mm. you know, the moderator is not, not, was not on the seat because he's the chairman of that. Another was right. appointed. And in fact, he had appointed, although they were past the moderators, mm. he had appointed me, 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 the, 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 the director of Christian education to be the moderator. He tell him moderator, can you, can you imagine? Mauritius. <laughs> The one who was on the seat, <laughs> he could not want to be represented by the past moderators, and they were there. Now, I gave a report, mm. and I got seated, mm. and the whole GSE was requested to ask questions. The mm. very come always here, the deputy principal, can you ask questions based on the report he has put the board? Mm. Can you imagine? No one was single. Commissioner, or any commissioner for that matter, mm. ask me a question. Mm. And if I had others, mm. and I was not asked, then I asked at break time, why didn't you maybe ask me questions about the Presbyterian College? And I was told by some ministers, we know you. Mm. We know you, Reverend Kamau. You gave a clear report. How do you ask a question when it is clear? Mm. 
Okay. And we know you also that if somebody asks that question, you will respond <laughs> the way he has done it. So we do not. <laughs> now, but when yeah. the moderator took over yeah. after the report, yeah. he was so much against the courage. Yeah. He said I was impressed by the way other, other institutions have reported. But I'm very unhappy about the Presbyterian College. Now he's addressing the whole GSC. Because teachers, their lecturers, have stopped teaching. Now they are talking about me and my leadership. They don't teach. And I had it reported how we have been teaching. But then when I came back after the GSC, I reported to the staff Start in the staff room, how our rep I reported mm. and how the report was accepted. No one asked me questions, but the moderator attacked the college. So it was not me attacked, although I was there as so a representative. They attacked all teachers mm. that we are lazy, and he will request the relevant committees of the General Assembly mm. to take action mm. against this. Idras. In mm. fact, that's the word he used. Mm. Idras. Mm. You see, now teachers became angry. Mm. He says, what are we going to do with the moderator? He is again, he says, oh. It is then that we said, let us be allowed mm. to go and see the moderator. Mm. The way we saw him there. Mm. So we went to five of us. But before we went, we discussed here and put things on paper. Mm. And we said we will be represented by the dean, mm. who is the Dr. Gedi Gesheru, you know him. Mm -hmm. So we went there. Uh -huh. And we told the moderator why we are there. Mm. And then he started saying, number one, mm. you say I promised you something. Mm. I did not do, and I'm not going to do it. Mm. Because mm. when you came to my house, mm. there was not a camera. Mm. And even there was, which minute? Mm. So you were given a knock-off. <laughs> I took it a I could not do it, and I will not do it because there was no camera there. Of course, but you were in my house. <laughs> you were visitors, yeah? <laughs> you were in my house? There was no camera. I mean, there was a camera. Can you put the minute? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh. We told him, okay, next. Uh -huh. He said, you are idlers and I will repeat your idlers. Mm. Because if you are not idlers, how do you get the time to say that I'm not rendering good leadership to the people of PCA? Mm. You are even telling your students mm. when you are teaching them, they tell me, Mm. That you, you you tell them that I'm not a good church leader. Mm. Okay, number three. Mm. He said, number three, you say I'm threatening you. Mm. Let me tell you openly mm. and clearly. Mm. I'm going to transfer some of you, mm. whether you want it or not. Mm. You cannot continue challenging me when you are in a college. You go back to Paris. Can you imagine, mm. I was the first to be transferred. Mm. So the next appointments committee trans transferred me and me only to Nakuru planet. Others were not. After some months, he transferred the three. The principal, Dr. Bagara, and Mutegi. So that's how I left now the college mm. in 2006 and became, go, went back to Paris in mm. Lanet, mm. where I also took only three months. Mm. After before three months, mm. another transfer mm. to go back to mm. Rodien, mm. where I had stayed for seven years. Can you imagine why? Because I had, he had found that I've been going to transfer after every three months mm. if I don't yield to what he's saying. So I was transferred after three months.
Turodian. Turodian. Had you been inducted at uh, Lamet? No. Okay. There was no time for, for so induction. You, so you went to Turodian. <laughs> this is which year? That was 2006. So now, okay. Now you're back to Rodiani mm. in 2006. Yes. Just a year before now the 2007 crashes. Mm, exactly. Now you can that see. <laughs> when I was in Rodiani for three, three, four, two in 2006, mm. I discovered mm. that the moderator had found because mm. he, he used to talk even as he walked. Mm that I will not be staying in a palace for more than three months. Mm. So that by the time he will have left the office, mm. I would have gone to, to, to 12 palaces. Can mm. you imagine? It? Mm. Three months, three months. From Ludiani, I was prepared to go to Kisumu. Mm. From Kisumu to Uganda, mm -hmm. three months, three months. And then I said, I. How will I be in three, three, every part is three months, every part is three, and this is a proof because I've stayed only three months. In fact, you can see it because we many cried mm. physically mm. in Iran. Mm. This is how mm. a minister is brought mm. after only three months. What has he done wrong? We should be told so that we repent on behalf of our minister. And they even engage the taxation. Mm. And the concession engaged the presbytery, mm. and the presbytery wrote a letter mm. to the head of it, to the, to the moderator, mm. that uh, the concession and the parishioners are complaining, can you stop t taking Kamau out to the end? And they were answered with a simple sentence. Mm. It is the church that it transfers ministers. Mm. Did you request for Kamau to come there? It is the church that has decided to post him there, so and it is the same church that had decided to. So you keep so quiet. So who is responding to the letter? Is it the SG or the Deputy Secretary General in the capacity as a Secretary of Appointment Committee, or is it the Monarch? Oh, thank you. That is, that is a good question, <laughs> because yeah. when he was in office, yeah. he was acting as the Monarch, the Secretary General, and the Deputy. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't do anything. He would even invite, he order the presbytery to meet without following the... the, 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 the In the essence, you are saying <laughs> the letter was from the office of the moderator. Yes. I said, I might get stressed mm. to the point of the stress jumping into depression. Mm. From depression, I become nothing. Mm. I might even die. Mm. So how do I allow somebody to tamper with my life. Mm. How do I do it? How mm. do I survive in the church? Mm. And there are three years. Mm. It was then they had come back for the second term. Mm. So <coughs> my decision was, mm. I have now to go home. Mm. Mm. I went to my practice and procedure. Mm. I discovered mm. there are five ways of getting out of the service. Mm. And I counted them. You may leave the church because you are you are disposed. Mm. You may resign. Mm. You may take medical. Mm. You are resigned because you are. You may apply for a retirement. A retirement, mm -hmm. and you can also resign. Mm. So I said, I don't want to do all these others mm. because I don't want to be sick to be given a, a medical, mm -hmm. medi a, a, a medical, what do you call it? Me uh, because of incapacity, you are incapacitated, incapacitated and yeah. the doctor has recommended. Mm. So I said, maybe my moderator knows the four. Mm. He does not know this one, another one. Mm. But you can uh, exactly. apply for early retirement mm. As long as you are 50 years old. Mm. And that one has no problem because you will continue to be a minister. Only, the only difference is the pay mm. at the end of the month. Mm. You belong to the presbytery, you can mm. go to the GSC, mm. you can baptize, you can. Mm. Only that you don't have a parish mm. and you don't have pay. Mm. So I applied for that one. Mm. I wrote a letter. 
to the presbytery of Elbagon, uh, not the, 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 the presbytery, to the secretary general through the presbytery, mm. application for early retirement. Early retirement. Mm. The letter was received not happily mm. because the moderator of the presbytery together with the, his office mm. read the letter, mm. discussed me, and they said, this is serious. Mm. We should not even take it to the presbytery. Mm. So they never brought the letter to the presbytery. Mm. Whenever we had a presbytery, I would ask, why is not my agenda in the list? Mm. They would say, oh, we are sorry, Reverend, we have forgotten. Mm. We will discuss this next, general, next meeting. Mm. Next meeting, I see it's not there. Mm. Why? Oh, we are sorry, we have also forgotten. They forgot three times. <laughs> <laughs> but you stayed there. <laughs> so on the fourth presbytery, mm. I de de decided to split the, the to spill the, the beans. The, the beans. Mm. We were told now is A or B, mm. and we usually go from person to person. Mm. In A or B, Kalemi, no. In A or B, no. When they reached me, I said I have, I have one. Mm. I said, moderator, and in your office there, mm. I want to tell to ask you mm. in front of this presbytery. Mm. I wrote a letter on this date. Mm. I brought it to you. Mm. You always tell me you are forgotten. Mm. How long will you continue forgetting? Mm. You for. Mm. Tell of this presbytery now. Mm. Elders, ministers mm. want to know mm. why mm. don't we read that letter? Mm. Moderator was now left there. You ask the clerk, can you say something? Mm. So the clerk has stood mm. and helped herself. She was this, this, this lady who is called the uh, Wamuyu. You know Wamuyu? Moni. Moni. Mm. Moni was the clerk. <laughs> and the other one who was in Kitagira was the moderator. Mm. Jige. Mm, so it. Jige wants Moni to, <laughs> to see the problem and he helped herself. So when he stood, she was very, she was, I like her for her mm. intelligence. Mm. She said, moderator, mm. the letter that Kama wrote mm. to this presbytery mm. cannot be discussed mm. when others are here mm. because it requires a category A. Mm. So the day was appointed mm. and I came now. Mm. Seated there, the letter was read. Mm. Application for early retirement. Mm. So it was now hot. Mm. Why does Kama want to go home? Mm. There must be a problem. And he has not stated the problem. Mm. He said he, he has quoted the Gatifa. Mm. Yes, Gatifa is okay, mm. but there must be a problem mm -hmm. behind mm -hmm. the quotation. Mm -hmm. So because they pressed hard on me, mm. I finally told them, mm. I have no problem with the PCA. Mm. I have a problem with an individual mm. who unfortunately seems to be the, the PCA. Holder, the holder. So allow me to go home mm. and to prove that I'm not against the church. After three years, come and take me back. But while moderator, if he is the moderator of the General Assembly, mm. I cannot be a full mm. time. Minister. Minister of the church. Mm. Until mm. evening, that's mm. when I was called. Mm. And I was told by the moderator, mm. when you are out, we have decided this, mm. that the presbytery receives your letter, mm. but he rejects your application. Mm. It was now 2007 that life became too much. Mm -hmm. After the, the elections, which mm. took place in December of yesterday. Mm. I was invited to come and give a sermon in a convention in Nakuru. Mm. This parish we call Munyeki, Kia Munyeki. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was to come and give a sermon in satur on Saturday, then go back home. But unfortunately, the crisis started on that Saturday. Mm. So before I went home, mm. 
the, the minister in Kericho, this is the Reverend, the, 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 the Reverend Munyoroku, mm. ran because he was to give a sermon on Saturday. Rang and said, already crisis have started in Kericho, mm. and Don't I'm come. sorry I cannot leave my frock and come to preach. So look for someone else. Mm. He is ringing on Saturday, and he has to give someone on the following day. Mm. So the management mm. got a hold of me. Mm. Tell me because we cannot look for a preacher tomorrow, for mm. tomorrow, and the man has sent his apology. It is you to preach tomorrow, so don't go home. Mm. So that's how I was retained mm. in Inakuru, mm. Kiamunyeki. Mm. So I gave a sermon on Sunday. Mm. While I'm going home, mm. already the classes was in my home now. Mm. So I was stopped at Rudiani mm. Junction mm. by police. Mm. It was the seventh day that I managed to go to my home. And it, I went there with the police from Kukerion. Mm. Seven of them heavily armed, mm. and they were told by the OCS, mm. don't come back mm. without the wife of the minister, because mm. my wife was not found anywhere. Mm. All others escaped the, the burning. Mm. So I thought my wife was hidden by the Karajini friends, mm. the neighbors who were friends. Mm. And so the police were told, you go from door to door get the wife of the pastor and bring him, bring her here. Mm. So it's when I went now to my home, I found the home is totally burnt, everything, no cows, no sheep, no chicken. Mm. And then I was asked by police, don't waste time. Take us to your friends so that we inspect whether they are with your wife. And when I went to my bedroom, Corrugated iron seats are already on the floor. I lifted one, mm. and I saw the wife was there. But stressed her, stressing mm. her arms mm. and her legs, the head, she is burnt to ash. You know, you are you die through suffocation. Mm. So if you die legs like this way, you remain that way. Mm. So she suffocated to death before she became ash. So the police would look at it and run away with their guns. I was left there alone. So I collected the ass into a bowl, bakori, and then I took it to the police vehicle. They could run away. I would see them <laughs> stressing their legs and saying, Pastor, what's, what are you doing? Why are you bringing this to our vehicle? And I told them, policemen, let me tell you, you are looking at a, a ball with ash. Whereas for me, I'm collecting my wife. What you are running away from, he is a wife of this man, so I cannot leave it here. I have to take it with me. I'm correcting my wife. So don't say anything else. So we drove to the police station. When we got there, I was afraid of mine from Moro, who had come to see me with a small vehicle. So I took the ass, and I took my children to that, uh, to that vehicle, and I Want them, they, they should not tell my children what I'm putting into their vehicle. So when we arrived in Mono, where I kept my vehicle in my friend's house, I also told them, don't, don't let my children know what is happening because they are challenging me. Where is, you said you are looking for a father, why is he? I'll tell you afterwards. Mm. So I took the ash mm. and transferred it from this vehicle of my friend to my vehicle mm. as a boot. Mm. and locked. I had told the children go through the kitchen door, you meet at the sitting room. I did not want, so they moved this way, and I came from there, the main door, and we met. So I kept that in confidentiality. Mm. So we had to come to, now, we had to come to, to Kiabu. Fortunately, my brother-in-law lived in Kino, mm. brother of my wife, the firstborn. Mm. Oh, just as Washira, he was an elder. Mm. 
But at that time he was in the USA going to attend the graduation of his children who are studying there. Mm. So here was only the woman mm. and the two daughters. Mm. So we came. Mm. Fortunately, mm. Kogo, you know Kogo, whatever mm. Kogo, not mm. this mm. old one, the other Kogo from Nyeri. Mm. He looked at me mm. and he was so sympathetic and told me, Reverend, the way I see you is the way I know you. I don't want you to drive this vehicle because mm. anything can happen on the way between here and Moro and Ikeno. Mm. Let me offer to take you there mm. with your vehicle mm. and I'll come back with the matatu. Mm. So I accepted. Because he looked at me, I don't know how I looked. Mm. He said, I wouldn't allow you, You're my teacher, mm. to take children. You may die on the way. Mm. So he brought us to the home of my brother-in-law mm. at Ikeno. Mm. We were deceived by the wife. Mm. And she was also concerned. Why is there? Sister in law. I told her, prepare supper for mm. us. Mm. After the supper, mm. I will tell you and my children, because they are grown up, they are they are already their children. Mm. What happened? Mm. So we took supper. Mm. It was after supper that I disclosed everything. To them, your mother. It's in the boot of that car outside there. She was tossed to ashes. And I don't want you to see her. I wanted you to eat and drink because I knew you would cry and you not eat. So that we take there. You go to sleep. Tomorrow morning, I will show you your mother. They used mm. to ash. Mm. So I showed them in the morning, and I told them from after you have seen, I'll take this to the mortuary. I brought her to Kikuyu, to PCA Kikuyu Hospital mortuary. Mm. And I told the attendants, this woman is Ash, so you don't need the, the whatever the you do. You just keep the Ash at a corner so that we prepare for the burial. So the, the ball with the Ash was kept aside. And then I went back to Keno. So people, the church ministers, whatever, they knew what happened. They started a committee to prepare for the burial of the ash. Now, a very, very sad story, and I, I remember calling you and yes. telling you about it and uh, praying with you. But um, and now, fast forward. You settled down. Yes. And the grace of God was sufficient for you. Uh, yes. That's exactly. the challenges. Mm. You settled down and you were in ministry. Did you, now, after you came back here, were you posted to a parish? Around I was enjoying my early retirement. Okay. So oh, I was yeah. not oh, in the oh, church. Okay, okay, now I remember. So it's that time that I decided, mm. because the man who made me get early retirement is still in the office. Mm. You still continue. I cannot contradict my letter. Yes. Okay. So, and then, fortunately, mm. now the Presbyterian College has become an university mm. under the observation by the government. Mm. So I applied mm. to go back to teaching mm. in our university now. It's no longer a college. Mm. So I wrote a letter, mm. application letter, mm. and attached my CV. Mm. Fortunately, I was not even interviewed mm. because the then Vice Chancellor, mm. Professor Kehubu, I don't remember you know him, mm. uh, convinced the, the Senate mm. that we don't need to interview Reverend Kamon because he was here. Mm. He even knew more, he knows more about this college than this university than we mm. do. Mm. Let us allow him to come and teach because this is the CV and he was teaching there. He only takes the chalk and books back to class. So I was... You came back to teach? I came back to teaching and I got a letter from the vice chairman, mm. the vice chancellor, mm. uh, giving me six months mm. contract mm. and observation. Mm. So I was employed under those terms. Those terms. And now you and unfortunately, after only two months, mm. the very man who was the moderator knew. Mm. 
So he came mm. to the vice chancellor mm. and challenged him. How did you get this man back to this office, to this university? When it was a Presbyterian college, I chased him out. And now I'm the chancellor of the Presbyterian University because I'm the moderator. I don't want to see him here. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All this is happening. Uh -huh. And Dr. Gedi knew about the traumatic experience that you had gone through. Very well. Very well. Okay. Very well. That aside, fast forward, you settle down, you are now at peace and you... Yes, like that's you, why I am by, applying. By God's grace, now you, you move on and you get into a... Now, when I... This man does not want me to continue teaching. Mm. And he has challenged the vice chancellor. Mm. And the vice chancellor now mm. is faced with another challenge that he had not expected. Yes. Here is Reverend Solomon Kamau, who has a letter, an official letter, to teach until six months. Mm. 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 And now the moderator has declared he is the chancellor of the university. So he was advised by the vice chancellor. Mm. If I chase this man away, and he has a letter, he, a letter, court. he might go to court. Mm. We were engaged in another battle mm. that is not necessary. Mm. So because we have given him six months, mm. allow him to have six months, and then we write another letter and say we are not going to renew His the contract. contract. Mm. That will be a bit better. Mm. Our oh, man accepted. Mm. <laughs> so mm. I stayed mm. <laughs> for other mm. months to make six months. Mm. So after six months, I was given a letter. Mm. It has expired. Well, that, no that, more. That aside, I but unfortunately uh, uh, for him, mm. fortunately for me, yeah. when I'm receiving the letter, he has finished his term. And he have elected Raju to take over from him. So I only took the letter and went to, to the, mod, the new moderator. I asked Gadaju, you are now the moderator of the General Assembly. Mm. And the moderator of the General Assembly, the sitting moderator, is the one who is equally the chancellor, the chancellor of the mm. university. Mm. So Gedi is no longer the chancellor. So mm. this is why I've come to you. Mm. What, prob what, uh, what, what, how do you want me to help you? Mm. Very simple. So just go to the presbytery. Mm. I know the presbytery is dead in the Albagon. Mm. And you must have joined another presbytery after the crisis. I said, yes, I joined in the Kikuyu mm. presbytery. Mm. I belong to the presbytery of Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. That's where I go for meetings. Mm. So he said, write a letter through that presbytery applying for reinstatement. Mm. I, you are reinstated, I give you a parish. Mm. Simple. Mm. I said, thank you, moderator. Mm. I was looking for Mugatawashi and uh, a livelihood. Uh. I accept. So I came, wrote a letter to the head office, through the presbytery, and an appointment was called. And I was posted to Isri in Nairobi Central. Mm. That's how I landed there. In Nairobi Central? Yes. Oh, I was coming every morning, mm. every evening. Mm. Going to Isri, I did not accept the house. Okay. I was sleeping here mm. and going to serve them. After two and a half years, and I was made the brand director of the presbytery. Mm. Immediately, I went there. Mm. It was so... For me, it was interesting. I am received and elected in moderator. So after there, I was posted to Keno. Mm. Equally, I was received and elected moderator of the Presbytery of Rungiri. Mm. But after one year, another transfer to Rimuru, to Gesha. But uh, let's <laughs> now let's go back to your, to your life story. <laughs> Thereafter, you remarried. I looked for another mm. lady. Yeah. And we quoted. Mm. And towards the end of the year, mm. December, mm. we married. Mm. The wedding was conducted in Ikimuri. Mm. 
And it, then I was also lecturing mm. theology in our Presbyterian University. Mm. So reception was in that big Kewaja. Mm. So after that, then I requested the government uh, to, uh, to transfer that woman because she was from Nyandarwa and wanted her to come and teach in Musaketa primary. Mm. But as we were continuing with the transfers mm. between the school and the other school and the teacher service commission, mm. is when she got sick. Only mm. two weeks after the marriage. Mm. And I rushed her to... She got sick when you were in a bank, can you imagine? Mm. Mm. Cashing money so that we do a bit of shopping. Mm. And then we come here, we go to my office, mm in the Presbyterian College, mm. uh, university that is, mm. so that we collect the presents we were given on the wedding, wedding. day, mm -hmm. even in the bed that was mm. given by her, uh, her parents, mm. we had not collected anything. Because the first week is honeymoon. Mm. Second week, we are busy with the transfer. Mm. So we had to do the whole shopping and come, mm. pick the presents so that she comes and see what is left. Can you imagine? She died having not known what she was given. Two weeks after Two the weeks wedding. after the wedding. In fact, the second Saturday, and after some time, I was told by the doctor, now, let me, let the me woman ask, is dead. Let me ask you, <laughs> Chungaji, I know, yes. you're, I know you're a minister and um, trained in pastoral care. Mm -hmm. Now you have gone through a traumatic experience of the, the very painful death of your first wife. And now this one, soon after. Soon, yes. Your wedding. A very conflicting environment because you are in the mood of celebration. Yes. And now the celebration this time turned into, into sorrow soon after. Did you ever go for any therapy? No. How did you handle it? I handled it this way. Mm. And I normally say this, especially when I'm burying the dead, mm. that I was so fortunate that mm. instead of my colleagues counseling me, mm. ministers, mm. instead of whoever is in the high rank, high, mm. uh, is it, we call it high rank the, of the, the yeah, church, yeah, yeah. no one ever called me for counseling. But the very members who have no rank in the church are the ones who frontiered themselves to counsel me. But I can assure you that those counselings I got from members mm. were more than... They kept you going. The other thing mm. that was very difficult mm. for me mm. is when I sent can't mm. to invite people to my wedding. Mm. Still, I was here. Mm. So I wrote a card to the churches around here. Mm. Kemore, mm. and this one of the Rime. Mm. The others were not founded. Mm. The one who uh, my family goes to here called Kiradimo, and another one who for us here called Kaberere. So we had only two local churches in this mm. Kemore mm. Paris. Mm -hmm. The church of Kimuri mm. and the three men. Mm. So I sent a car, mm. a card to that one mm. and a card to this one. Mm. When these people mm. read the card, mm. can you imagine? Mm. You are invited for a wedding, wedding of Reverend Solomon Kamal. Mm. And my daughters are members there. Mm. And their children were baptized mm. there. Because we could not move back to the Rift Valley. Mm. The one who announced, mm. my daughter stood me, people say, what? The whole church. Yeah. Yeah. So when they went back to the, to the history, because they had the murmuring, they discussed me, the local church, Mark you. Elders, deacons. They are discussing a minister who is not theirs. I belong to Nairobi Central. 
they have their minister here, and they discuss me, and they even concluded, this is very wrong. And instead of sending me, this the minister, or one of the elders, can you imagine, a very big brother, they sent my daughters, tell your dad that you are enough to cook for him, should not look for the bad wife. It's very unfortunate. So when I came in the evening, here my daughter comes. Dad, there was a lot of murmuring in the church when your card was read. As if that was not enough, we were someone in the first room to be sent to you with this information. We are enough to cook for you. Should not look for the valley wife. Mm -hmm. They tell you that. You tell me. And I said, I don't want to fight with my daughters because they were there when they are sent. They had the memory and now they are officially sent to me. I told them, okay, after supper you sleep. Uh, before the week ends, I will give you the answer. So I argued with my thinking and asked myself, there is a minister who is my colleague. Mm. The elders who knew me, mm. even before I, mm. I went to, I, 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 even before, because when teaching here, I was hinted with the elders here. Mm. Why can't they say this? A nail done. Even that one who was so friendly to me called uh, uh, Kennedy Jaroge, mm. who was one time a presbytery clerk. Mm. He should have said somebody like, he is my equal. He said, we go, oh, if they cannot set the minister. Now they said, my children. So on, uh, on Saturday, I told my daughters, before you forget, mm. tomorrow, mm. after service, mm go to first three mm. and tell those people mm. that you have my response mm. and listen very carefully because i don't want you to change mm. my response mm. don't alter it mm. three things mm. only mm. one mm. tell these people that when i decided to marry mm. and then engaged in marrying mm. i have paid the dowry Mm. to the parents of that woman I'm marrying. Mm. And I did not request a harambe from them. Mm. I paid it purely from my pocket. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've done it. Number two, that woman who accepted me, mm. she will not come to live in the church. Mm. She will come to live in Kamau's house here. Mm. So you will not, you not be a bother to them. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she will come to live. Okay. Number three, mm. she will be eating, mm. she will be drinking, mm. she will be wearing clothes mm. from Kamau's pocket, not from the church's pocket. Mm. That is mm. Not the whole church, that is the owner. Those people would, mm. I will mm. not demand what to feed my wife mm. from the church. Not from the Rima church. I am not bringing her to the church to mm. live there, mm. and I paid it out. Three things tell them. Mm. So you, you can see, yes. from them, they have not discussed me. <laughs> I gave them the answers. Now, viewers, let us come to what I consider to be the elephant in the boardroom. The book authored by Kamawa Masharia. You call yourself Kamawa Masharia in the book. Mm. And I, uh, this book has caused a lot of controversy, both to the read readers and to the church. The book is entitled Elements of Godlessness in Christianity and Islam. Caused controversy to the extent that the church has now, the position is that now you are, though retired, a deposed minister of the Presbyterian Church. Where did you write this book, if I were to ask? I wrote, the, I, I did not write this book once. Mm. This book is a collection of information mm. 
from both written material mm. in the form of books, in the form of newspapers, mm. in the form of magazines, mm. journals, mm. and whatever any other written material that I could come across. Mm. It is also in the form of interviews mm. from different people about mm. different issues, mm. both the religious, mm. economy, touching economy, mm. touching politics, mm. touching to social welfare of people, mm. both in our country mm. and elsewhere. Mm. It also involves lectures given mm. to me by various mm. lecturers, mm. some on these different topics. Mm. So I formed the idea of writing this book. Mm. Immediately I left my studies in USA. Mm. What I had studied in Okari mm. and what I studied in USA mm. Combining that with my experiences in the ministry mm. and experiences mm. between me and other leaders, mm. both political, religious, mm. and administrative, mm. it is a composition of all this. Mm. So when I came back mm. from USA, mm. I started asking myself, mm. I've studied, mm. I've been in this ministry mm. for years. Mm. Before coming to the ministry of the church, I was a civil servant in the government during the time of Kenyatta and even during the time of Moi. Mm. I served this government as a prison officer. Mm. So when I got all this stuff, mm. I thought of writing a book. Mm. Now to help my black people of my black race mm. to know my experiences mm. and to know mm. how they have also been experiencing problems here and there. Mm. And that's how I started writing this book. Okay. So this is a book that has been written for a time of not less than 20 years. Okay. So in, uh, in essence, what you are saying that mm -hmm. you intended it to be an academic enterprise for the, for academic discussions and debate that is more than obvious okay but, now, uh, but in my mind mm. is that those who are academically qualified to understand the book mm. would uh, help me mm. in reaching the the black people oh, everywhere okay, okay. Mm. that's why i've made it more of an academic mm. Uh, document mm. because I expected mm. right in my thinking mm. that those who are academically qualified mm. to understand the information in this book mm. would help me mm. to reach the people mm. of the African race mm. to understand the content mm -hmm. and so mm. help themselves mm. because according to my argument mm. It appears mm. the people of the black race mm. have not been free. Mm. They are still in slavery okay. of some kind. Mm. And they need some people mm. to create the awareness mm. that, that, that they are slaves so that they try to make themselves free from the slavery, mm. be it economic, political, mm. social, mm. religious, mm. and whatever other adjective you could put in okay now but as you were writing this book mm. and actually publishing it mm -hmm. you did not envision the book causing you the problems that it has caused you to the extent of having the church deposit as a minister <laughs> that it was totally beyond my expectation good <laughs> so in in other words what i'm trying to di di uh, uh, drive to is the fact that um the book not with really studying this D is not an expression of your denial of the Christian faith? Of course, yes. Okay. Because right in the first place, mm. 
is when I tried to make this book published, mm. I visited a, a number of publishers, mm. but they seemed to fear it. Mm. And uh, that's why I decided to mm. self-publish it. Mm. Because wherever I would go, mm. I would see the psychology is mm. as if they are even not having known the content. Mm. By the way they see the content, mm. table of content, mm. it appeared as if they feared the book. Mm. Because I remember one publisher, I don't want to 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 tell to mm. to mention him, one, to mm. mention him mm. said that they can only accept this book mm. if I allow them mm. to read mm. and pluck out what they think is useful or necessary. Mm. And then they they publish it with what they think. Mm. Then I told them, if you do that. Mm. Then you have removed my ideas in mm. the book. Mm. They will become yours. Mm. So I won't allow that. Mm. So we used to part. Mm. And another and another. Mm. Even when they came to selling it, mm. I remember I have also mm. gone to other mm. sellers of books. Mm. And they have also showed the mm. si they have shown similar mm. similar opinions. Mm. That some even have the book, but mm. they tell me if you call back we we'll talk to you, but the mm. in, in actual fact, they are negative. Mm. So I thought mm. that if I publish it, mm. at the chase people who are of the same level of my academy level, mm. academic level, mm. they would read it and help me mm. to help the black people mm, okay. with the ideas I put there. Mm. So my intention was not that you not be accepted. Mm. My intention was not that you, that you create controversy. Mm. It you create even me being put into the, into the presbytery as a, a wrong doer. Mm. Because before then, mm. I've never been taken to any court of the, the church mm -hmm. as a wrong doer. Mm. And I have been in those courts. Mm. <laughs> telling people you have done this, you have done this, we depose you. Mm. I've never been in, in that category. Mm. I've only gone to the case, to the court of a church because mm. of the book. Mm. Other things, immorality, whatever, eating church money, I've never been challenged of doing anything of that. Mm. It is the book that has made me mm. study before a court of law mm. of the church. Mm. Uh, it is even the book that mm. has made me being someone by the moderator of the General Assembly. Mm -hmm. Before then, since my ordination, I've never been summoned by a moderator because I've done something wrong. Mm. I apologized mm. and wrote a letter mm. to that effect. Mm. But instead of the letter being received positively, mm. more fight was to the point that I now changed. If it is to be fought, not to be helped, then I will, I will, not, mm. I will not discard that mm. book. So it is from there mm. that now the battle started to go this way and the other way. I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying uh, to, <coughs> to, to maybe look at the, the title of the book. I've not gone through it, I, I must confess. Mm -hmm. This book they, is entitled elements of godlessness in Christianity and Islam. Yes. Me thinks that um, godlessness, like beauty, is in the eyes of the beholder. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying that? Because if you want to see godlessness, even in the Bible, you will. Because this idea of some people in the Bible, the Israelites pushing out other uh, tribes and nations and uh, uh, fighting with them. Mm -hmm. That can be perceived as godlessness. Yes. Moses killing could be perceived as godlessness. David killing Uriah could also be perceived as godlessness. So I think it depends uh -huh. on the on who is perceiving godlessness. Okay. And you are talking about elements Elements. elements of godlessness and those incidents are quoted could also be perceived as elements well, obviously of yes but that is from the hebraic or the old testament point of view from uh, the uh, new testament point of view we talk about uh, grace 
we, we, we also say, Reverend mm. uh, Karemi, mm. that you seeing things, mm. and this is where uh, this is. Mm. You see things mm. positively or negatively, mm. depending on your study point. Yes. That's what I'm calling. I, that, I that, that you, you, you have provoked me to remember that. Mm. Because what Moses did, mm. according to the study point mm. of the Egyptians, mm. was godless. Yes. But if you change the study point, mm -hmm. you go to the Jews. Mm -hmm. According to the Jewish study, study mm. point, it was, was godless. A defender. Of the faith. Because he is defending his fellow people. Mm -hmm. And I've argued a lot mm. about Moses in mm. this book. Mm. Even the, the, very, the very first theme mm. is Moses. Mm. How Moses had two study points. Mm. He is in the parish mm. as a son to the daughter mm. of the Pharaoh. Mm. But on the other hand, he has been educated by his mother and father and brothers mm. and his sister mm. that he does not belong to that. He mm. belongs to the Jews. Mm. It's only because of the circumstances mm. that he landed in the parish. Mm. So Moses has two study points mm. in his total argument about the Jews mm. and the Egyptians. Mm. Now, when we come to the both the religions, mm. or let me call them three, mm. because I have the argument of the three. Mm. The Christianity, mm. Judaism, and Islam. And Islam. Mm. I've mentioned them. Mm. And I've mentioned them through, from the history Abraham. of the Bible yeah, and yeah. the religion. Yeah, that they are, they are sisters or mm. brothers to Judaism. Mm. Because Judaism is the one that came first. Mm. Then I'm saying, mm. I'm talking at, um, about godlessness in these religions, mm. noting that the Jewish religion is not far because it's their mother or father, mm. because of my study point. Mm. Mm. My study point is a black man, mm. and arguing even the rest are there, mm. because I'm not a runner. Mm. I'm a black man, mm. historically, mm. And even the color, mm. traditionally, mm -hmm. I'm a black man. Mm. And the elements, mm. according to my study point, mm. that's why I'm telling you Moses had his, mm. although I see him with it both. Mm. He has this one and he has the other one. Mm. According to my mm. study point, mm. what I see as is an ungodly, mm. it is what I see the two religions attack me. So those elements that are attacking me, mm. and especially making me a black man a slave, mm. Mm. when in ungodliness, human beings are not slaves. They are supposed to be free. You see? Mm. And even in the religions themselves, mm. the three religions are against slavery. Mm. Christianity, Islam, Judaism, they are against according to the way they understand their God that slavery is not godly. Mm. But when they come to the African, mm. they change. Mm. Now godliness becomes enslaving people. Yes. Which has been done, it is very clear, mm. is a clear fact in our history yes. that slavery mm. eh, to the Africans mm. is good. Mm. But it is not good mm. to others. Mm. So according to an African mm. study point, mm. I don't see godliness in that element. I know, I know. Uh, that is, uh, and, even, I, and even colonialism mm. it is also godly. not godly. No, it wasn't. Now today, mm. I was given the levels mm. of slavery mm. in this book. Mm. Slavery itself mm -hmm. to the west mm -hmm. and to the east. Mm -hmm. That is historical. Mm. It was taken over by colonialism. Mm -hmm. So when slavery was uh, abolished, mm. it uh, took the other mm. stage of mm. colonialism. Mm. It is the real slavery. Mm. It's only that it is, it, it is for the an academic to understand this. Mm. A commoner, 
we wrote at the start. Mm -hmm. And today in Africa, mm -hmm. we are now experiencing the third stage of slavery mm -hmm. by the name neocolonialism. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Kenyatta, mm -hmm. if I talk about Kenya, Kenyatta Moi, mm -hmm. Kevaki, mm -hmm. Uhuru, and even the current one mm -hmm. are, 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 are practicing neocolonialism, not freedom. The subject of the Western world. <laughs> they, they, they are acting like subjects of the Western. Exactly, world. because new colonialism mm -hmm. is all the same colonialism that mm -hmm. we are experiencing. And the colonialism is the same slavery that is in the, in, it was in the USA, in India, in Arabia. It, 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 I, according to my studies, actually, I don't see the difference. Actually, without <laughs> diving so much into And that's the where I'm asking yeah. is there a God in this? So. <laughs> So that without the element is one. Without delving so much into into the debate, because I understand your third <laughs> point, and of course, and of course, we are enslaved by the dollar today. So I but, also said it here. But I, but I, 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 my question is: given a chance now, because you are a deposed minister, though retired, given a chance, would you be willing to get back into the fold of ministry? No. Why? Because of the way we have moved until then, mm. and today. So when we started, mm. people were sent to me. I know what I told them. Mm. I know the response. Mm. So all responses mm. have been totally negative. So I don't expect any positivity. It's not your expectation. <laughs> I asked a simple question. Not what you expect. Mm -hmm. I said given a chance. Oh. Given a chance. Not expectation. Mm -hmm. Given a chance. Would you accept to go back into the fold of ministry serving the same God you have always served even as you are writing the book? Okay, no. That's why I'm asking why not. Not from the expectation. The why is yeah. simple. Mm. The content mm. of this book, mm. because I've even gone through it once, twice, thrice, mm. when a case came, mm. to see as to whether there is something mm. I made without consideration. Mm. And looking at the way it mm. has been responded to mm. or taken, mm. I see these elements mm. are put quite clearly in this book mm. from an African study point mm. and being one, being one mm. of those people who mm. are mm. affected by these elements. Mm. And given the fact mm. that there is no change mm. from those elements which were brought by the very Christians who came to, to, uh, to evangelize us here, mm -hmm. with those who are even extending the, 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 the evangelism, mm -hmm. I don't see any difference. Mm -hmm. So I say, mm -hmm. as from my heart mm -hmm. and by my mind, mm -hmm. I don't see the changes. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. those who may affect the changes mm -hmm. are the very people who are extending the Elements. So you are in essence, <laughs> you are in essence, or you, you have in essence concluded or come to the conclusion that the hardening of the whole matter is no different from what you are calling enslavement. Yes. I don't see. Thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> now, viewers, we have to end this discussion <laughs> with... Um, who I call Reverend Saul Kamoni, out of respect for the man uh, who has been a friend of mine for many years since we were serving in the Rift Valley. <laughs> I will still refer to him as Reverend Solomon Kamawama Sharia. We have to come to the end of the, that discussion. He's a man that we miss in the fold of the ministry, though retired. But <laughs> we continue praying for him. Thank you so much. <laughs> God bless you for hosting us in your in this your beautiful home. I Thank you. So. See I you so. in the next episode of The Regents. God bless you.